All right, so you have a great deal and you don't have the buyers to buy it, or maybe you're afraid to start going out and looking for that deal before you actually have the buyers to do it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find buyers for wholesaling real estate. Hey guys, it's Brent Bowers. I've been buying real estate since 2007. In this video, I'm gonna give you some of my absolute best strategies for finding cash buyers for your wholesale real estate. And guys, I've built over 11,000 cash buyer list doing this. Now granted, you don't need a list that big. You can sell a property or a house or a piece of land with a buyer's list of one. It only takes one, it starts with one. So I want you to remember this is a building process. So I'm gonna give you some of my best ways to do this. All right, when I was just starting out, I actually was building my cash buyers list from a place called you know, Fort Knox, Kentucky. My wholesale real estate business was in Colorado Springs. I was on a four month mission with the army and I was building my cash buyers list during my downtime. So I'd get a couple hours a day to go and sit in my, my barracks room and call people. My goal was to call 25 people each day, every single day, and that would add to my cash buyers list. So 25 a day, five days a week really starts to add up. It's called the compounding effect. You know, Darren Hardy wrote a great book called The Compounding Effect. Highly recommend you read it. Things compound on themselves. Who were the 25 people that I was calling? Well, I had already established a relationship with a realtor, a real estate investor that was also a realtor. How did I find this guy? I found him on Bigger Pockets and I found out that he was a real estate agent that invests in real estate. So obviously he had a passion for working with real estate investors. And there was two guys in my market that were providing a ton of value on bigger pockets. And one of them was Colin Smith with Solid Rock Realty. So I established a relationship with him. We became friends. I remember our first meeting, which was in Starbucks out in Colorado Springs. And I found out what he was doing. And he was a super young guy. He's actually younger than I am buying real estate. So we, we created a, a friendship. And then I asked him, I was like, hey, Colin, can you please give me a list of all the cash transactions that have happened in this county in the last six months. So I want all the full details. I want the full listing description. So he's like, sure. So he sent me a PDF file, this massive file of the last six months of cash transactions that I was interested in one thing. That was a buyer's agent, the guy that brought the buyer or the girl that brought the buyer because I'm thinking if this buyer's agent had one cash transaction in the last six months, they might know other cash buyers. So I can ultimately explode my cash buyer list, my buyers list for my wholesale real estate very quickly. So what I did, well, I would call 25 a day and I would say, hey, Mr. Realtor, Mrs. Realtor, I see you had a cash transaction in the last six months. I'm just new to the area. I'm a real estate investor and I come across great deals all the time. I noticed you had a cash transaction in the last six months. And I also said that at the beginning too. You don't have to repeat yourself. You can shorten the script a little bit, but that was just me. I want you to make this your own. So you can rewind this, you can go back and write this down. But hey, Mr. Real Estate Agent, I'm new to the area. I'm a real estate investor. I come across real estate deals all the time. I noticed you did a cash transaction in the last six months. I was wondering if I can call you next time I have a great deal in my hands. And then nine out of 10 times, the realtors will say, absolutely 100%, yes, please do call me. And sometimes you'll have that person that says, no, don't call me, and I delete them, I scribble out their name, I don't wanna have anything to do with them. So I will let them know that I'm gonna give them a ring or a text or an email next time I have a great deal, and I wanna verify that the phone number I called them on is the best one, and the email that I have on that full listing description is the best one. And after they say yes, I thank them for their time and hang up. You can get through 25 of these calls in an hour or less a day. All right, another one of my favorite strategies, that you can use this strategy when you're going into a new market or you're just getting established, but is stand on the shoulders of other giants. Stand on people's shoulders that have already established themselves. And that's other wholesalers. That's other people that are already doing this business. They've built established cash buyers list and we do it all the time. I work with other brand new wholesalers that have a deal, but they have no cash buyers list. They bring the contract to me and then we market that contract to our 11,000 cash buyers and we get offers and we drive the offers up and then we usually split the assignment fee. So if I do a deal where I get a cash buyer to offer us $20,000 and you brought me that deal, we're gonna split 20,000. That's 10,000 you, 10,000 me. So you can submit your deals to us if you're in Colorado Springs or Pueblo or any land deals you have in the country by going to sellers 
dot zekbuyshouses.com. It's also below in the description. It's on the screen, sellers dot zekbuyshouses.com. And you don't have to use me. There's other wholesalers in, in all the other states, all the other areas, all the other cities. So how do you find other wholesalers? You can go to meetups. You can Google sell my house fast or sell my land fast wherever you're at. Sell my house fast, Fort Pierce, Florida. Sell my house fast, Colorado Springs. All right, next is foreclosure auctions. You gotta be very careful about these. So you wanna figure out when the foreclosure auctions are happening in your county. And sometimes it's weekly. Me, it's like 10 a.m. on Wednesday in Colorado Springs. So I would go to these foreclosure auctions and I would have all these papers printed out of my deals. And I would hand this to each one of those foreclosure investors going in to buy a property with cash and I would say, hey, immediately after this bloodbath or this foreclosure auction, I'm gonna have an inspection period on 123 Main Street. It's gonna be open from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So hopefully you can make it, here's the information. It would have my website on there that they would have to go and opt into. And this website was a, just a carrot website, you know, a carrot website that they gotta go in and put their name and their phone number just to see your deals. So each time I do this, I would get their contact information or they would come to my inspection period. So I would always be building my cash buyers list. And these guys, like they're going in there buying these houses sight unseen. I'm giving them the ability to walk through the house and then I'm giving them another 24 to 48 hours to run their numbers and see if the deal works for them. So my way was way easier than them going to a foreclosure auction. This is the absolute best way to build a massive cash buyers list for your wholesaling business. Next is when you get a property under contract, let's just say it's, uh, once I did a, a deal with a bank, it was 44 acres next to Shriver Air Force Base in Colorado Springs. And I got this property under contract for 25,000. The land was worth 100,000. So I was freaking out. I didn't have $25,000 to buy this land. I got the deal under contract on a Friday night. I didn't sleep that night. I went out the next morning and put out 33 bandit signs. My mentor, Tom Kroll, told me to do this. He's the founder of Wholesaling Inc. I've now got the opportunity and the great pleasure to be a Wholesaling Inc. coach. But he said, go out and put 33 signs out when you've got to sell a house or sell a piece of land, whatever you're trying to sell. So what I did is I put 44 acres, 38K, my phone number. I got a phone call before I was even done putting those signs out. That's another way to get rid of your deals. Get your deals offloaded to a cash buyer fast and ultimately build your cash buyers list. Next, I wanna talk about another way to finding cash buyers. This is one of my favorite ways because I like to go out and talk to people. But before I do, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'm talking all things buying real estate, how to become a millionaire with real estate, how to buy land, how to sell land, how to price land. I'm the land guy. I've done over 289 land deals in the last four Four years we've got over 100 notes paying us subscribe to this channel i'm giving my secrets all the time what we do in our land business all right as promised real estate meetups have cash buyers you know these things are happening all over the place you can go to meetup.com you can find these real estate meetups you can find where they're happening you can go on facebook and find these real estate meetups they're always looking for people to come in there that have deals and there's cash buyers sitting there being lazy and fat and tired and not going out and finding their own deals and they love people like you and I that bring them deals and they can just sit there and buy them. All right, and I saved the best for last. I'm gonna show you how I go on PropStream and find new cash buyers in a new area, whether it be for land or houses. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that, how I go in and find the cash buyers. All right, so he who has the biggest cash buyer list wins. Here is your demo. I want you to go to thelandsharkslist.com. See it right here. This is gonna give you a seven day free trial to PropStream. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This is my PropStream account. I'm gonna show you how to find cash buyers for houses. Uh, let's just go ahead and let's just go to Ocala, Florida. This is one of my recent searches. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select cash buyers, cash buyers. So you gotta select that. So first thing you're gonna do is select your city or your state or maybe even your zip code. If you really wanna get this to micro, I would I would recommend doing a zip code. I'm gonna just do a broad stroke for this. So Ocala, Ocala Florida is where I'm selecting. And then I want to look at the map here. Just, you can, you can zoom in, zoom out. And what's really cool is you can draw, you can actually draw and select where you wanna go. But for this purposes, we're gonna select cash buyers. And then we're gonna go to the filter tab just above it, just above liens. And owner occupied would be no, because these cash buyers are not are not just, we're not looking for homeowners. We don't wanna look for homeowners that are that actually paid cash for their home. 
we want to look for homeowner or for, for cash buyers purchasing the home for investment or to flip it or so they can buy our wholesale deals. Occupancy status, I want any. It doesn't matter if it's occupied or vacant. Property characteristics, I want to drop down that tab and then I want to select residential here, which is really cool. You can do this for commercial or office or my favorite, vacant land. This is how I build a robust cash buyers list. So residential, I'm looking for residential. And then you can even narrow it down to like how many bedrooms or baths or year built. For this purpose, I'm going to leave that alone. And then I want to go one more and drop down ownership info. And I want last sale date to be in the last 12 months. Or, I mean, if you really want to narrow it down, you can even do last six or 12. But I like 12 months because they might have bought a, a, a flip property six or eight months ago. They're finishing it up. They just listed it on the MLS and now they're looking for another one. So you want to hit those people or strike when the iron's hot. So today is December 1st, 2021. I want to go back one year to December 1st, 2020, select it, and then one way to verify we're in ocala florida owner occupied no this is where investors have purchased cash buyers property residential and we're looking for the last 12 months so i'm going to go ahead and drop this down hit the x there and if you notice we have 905 cash buyers that have purchased in ocala florida in the last 12 months so you want to select all of them select and then you want to go over here and add to list. So this is where you would create your new list. Ocala house. And I always name it house or land cash buyer list because we want to make sure that we're putting this in the right place if we're using a CRM, like a customer relationship manager. Ocala house cash buyer. And then you would hit save. I'm not going to hit save on this one because I actually already pulled uh, Ocala land buyer list. So I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. So after you pulled it, you want to, uh oh, let me see what I did here. Go back. So after you pull that list or save it, in other words, you're going to want to go to my properties, my properties. And that's where your save list is. This is an Ocala cash buyer list that I just pulled yesterday for one of my land students. So this is for land, but this is the same template that works for, for land or houses, whatever you want to do. So if you notice, I only selected 349 of, I only pulled 349. We actually went only back three months because we wanted a smaller list for a piece of property and we wanted to be able to call them and get it done fast. So we select all of them. That's 349 of them. And then you're going to want to do new campaign. You could send them a postcard if you wanted to, but remember these are cash buyers. We want to skip trace them. So for 12 cents, a record, you're going to get the phone and the email. So you go down, click next, and then it's going to tell you exactly how many it's going to append. And then you would place the order, but I've already placed the order for this. So it's telling me I've done it already. So it didn't want to take more of my money. But after you select yes, it's going to show you exactly what it's going to charge your credit card for the skip trace. And remember that the free trial does not include the skip trace. That's just to be able to look at what we're looking at here. Um, but if you want to do the skip trace, that is 12 cents a record. So I'm going to go to contacts because I have now selected that skip trace. And that's where it's going to show me that list that I just skip traced. Here's my list. It's telling me the LLC. It's giving me the phone numbers here. It's giving me the email addresses here. But you might notice that we don't have phone numbers and email addresses for everybody. That's, that could be an issue for some people, but I love it. So for instance, this LLC, the LLC doesn't have an email or a phone number listed. Let me show you a, a, you know, a pro tip, a ninja trick, how to figure out how to get a phone number for an LLC. So for instance, this LLC, LLC right here, I'm going to go to you know, the Florida Secretary of State website or sunbiz.org and look up this R. Cristio Investments LLC. I, I probably did not say that correctly, but I'm going to look up that LLC and I'm going to see who the registered agent is and then I'm going to pull that registered agent's name and the mailing address with this LLC. And that should allow me to get that registered agent's phone number and email because ultimately that registered agent probably owns this LLC. So that's one way you can do that. American Tracers is another uh, skip tracing website that will do that for you. You can maybe check out Ben Verified. There's other ways to skip trace, but this is probably one of the easiest ways 
to get a, a cash buyer list for your houses really quickly. Hope that helps. All right, guys, hope you got so much value out of this video. As you know, the real estate market is absolutely exploding. I've got a tried and true method of buying land at crazy massive discounts and turning around and having a buyer's list that's beating down my door to buy this land from me. And we do seller financing. Sometimes we wholesale it and make a quick profit. I've got a tried and true method on exactly how to do that. If you're interested in learning more, schedule a call with me and my team by heading over to thelandsharks.com, thelandsharks.com. Schedule a call. We'll see what your goals are. And if we feel like we're a great fit, I'd be honored to coach you.